All right, guys, here we go. I've got the harness uh, plugged up to the motor. As you can see, uh, uh, I forgot to mention this oil sending unit. Uh, it also come off of the black uh, plug, the C100. You'll cut this wire away and you will run this to your new gauge cluster. Um, also, as you can see, I've got all of my stuff stringing out right now. What I'm going to do is tidy it all up. I just wanted to get it on here, get all my plugs plugged up, and then I'll be able to wrap all the wires tightly as to how I want those. Um, I went ahead and put all of my wire out on the ground, stretched it all out, and each plug I ran, I went ahead and taped all up like this right here. I did that to every plug. Uh, be sure whenever you do this to number your uh, injectors. You don't want to lose track of those. You want to make sure uh, that each injector goes to the right cylinder. If not, I mean, it's not a really, really big deal. It just causes more work for you. Trust me, I found this out the hard way because I did not number mine. I had to go back and look at the pinout that I got from uh, lt1swap.com and it showed me which which color wire green with black it showed me it told me which one it was and everything so I mean it's not a really really great great big deal but it's going to save you a lot of uh, looking later on uh, anyhow let me get this tidied up and we will come back alright guys there you go I do not have the wire loom on it yet but I do have it uh, pretty situated to where I've got to get a little bit more tape I ran out you will use a lot and I mean a lot of tape on this uh, or else I did but um, this is the first one I've built uh, it is a drive by cable standalone wire harness uh, my PCM has been flashed so the vehicle anti-theft system has been removed let me walk you through what we have done here uh, as I've already said the, the security system has been removed from the PCM so it will run without it being inside the vehicle this is the new uh, fuse box on my left this is a key powered when I turn the key on it will have power to this this will send power to the PCM uh, to the fuel injectors, to the coils, uh, anything else that I need to have power with the key on, I can do it right here. This one is my uh, 12 volt power source that is a constant 12 volt. Uh, I have a memory wire that goes to the PCM, uh, or I'm sorry, a hot wire, it runs to the PCM. Um, I also have another wire, let me see. ODP, uh, o, the, the data port, which is back here. Uh, it has a wire that runs to that. It's constant hot. Uh, all the other plugs, they're still on there. I've just got to get the wire loom on them. Um, we still have the alternator plug, coil packs, injectors, uh, mass airflow sensor, uh, these two sensors, I'm drawing a blank, but uh, it's late at night. I have eliminated a lot of sensors. Uh, this will come off of here, too. I will not use that. Uh, let's see. I do have the knock sensor. Uh, it eliminated that sensor down there. It eliminates the uh, safety neutral sensor of the transmission, which is this uh, blue one it uh, originally ran to that big spot right here uh, it eliminates the rear oxygen sensors you keep the front oxygen sensors that's these plugs right here this one and this one I've got to do all my ground uh, let's see that's just about it as far as um, fans I will have electric fans on here you'll run it from the uh, PCM 
you'll have to uh, install one wire for your fan if you want to run dual fans. I re I've already covered all of that, how to do that. This is, let me find it. This is all my gauges. I've still got to run this one up there too. This is my oil gauge. Uh, I may do a manual oil gauge for now, but that's how you run an automatic oil gauge. Uh, that's about it. All I got to do is, like I said, tidy it all up. Uh, finish tidying up, get some more tape, and I'll put some wire loom on it, and it'll be good. That is how you do a drive-by, uh, well, a standalone harness, I'm sorry. Uh, you can run air conditioner. I, I don't have mine installed right now, but let me get over to my messy workbench. I still have both of my plugs. I kept those so I can run air conditioner later because I do plan on putting air on here. Uh, I will be running some uh, TJ's uh, motor mount adapters for this. Uh, I've heard a lot of good reviews about them. The uh, exhaust I'm going to put on here, I want to fire this thing up with it uh, outside of the truck. I have the exhaust sitting back there that I've already, what are they, uh, that's a flow master on there. And as you can see, I've kept my two front oxygen sensors. I will not use that one. I'm not going to have to hook it up. But I have a flow master welded on there. So, so yeah, uh, hopefully in the next video, you'll get to see this thing running. But uh, until then, thank you all for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If I don't know the answers, I will do some research to get the answers or I'll point you to somebody that does know the answers. But I'll tell you now, 99% of the time, the questions you ask, you can go to ltswap.com or lt1swap.com rather and there's tons of information on there. Uh, there are some groups on Facebook. They're, uh, they're willing to help people also. A lot of good people on there. But until next time, God bless you all and be safe.